Hi, Grace. Hi, Levi. Hi, Stephen. How are you today? I am so happy to be here reading to you. So I got a new book today. It's called Pups Save the Party. It's a Paw Patrol book. Yay! Let's see if I can get this situated. Oh, I hope that works good. Yes. Pups Save the Party. This book belongs to, well, it's brand new, so who does it belong to? I think it belongs to the Smith children, to Grace, Levi, and Stephen. So we should write that in here. Grace, Levi, and Stephen are just the Smith children. Yeah, that would be good. Pups save the party. Oh, boy, this is so good. One windy afternoon, the pups were at Katie's pet parlor, preparing to surprise birthday party for Chase. Chase is going to have a birthday party. Streamers away, said Rocky. Next up, the birthday cake, said Katie. But who is making sure that Chase doesn't surprise us while we set up his surprise party, asked Guy. Marshall, said Bo Rubble. He can keep the secret, can he? Can Marshall keep the secret? I don't know. Marshall and Chase played at the park, but Marshall was acting a little different. Is something wrong, Marshall? Wrong? Marshall laughed nervously. Why, it's not like I have a big secret I'm not supposed to tell. Just then, it got very windy. Maybe we should go find Ryder and the pup, said Chase. No, I mean, uh, Marshall stammered, it's so nice outside. Whoosh! The wind blew so strong that it blew the pups onto the swings and onto the ground. Hi, Lulu. Do you want to help? Lulu wants to help. She likes to read, too. She likes to read about kitty cats and mice, though, and birds, not dogs. Back at the pet parlor, everyone was still busy getting ready for the party. When suddenly, the lights went dark, and Katie's mixer stopped working. All the lights on the street are out, too, called Rocky. What happened? Ryder looked at his pup pad. If the lights are out on Main Street, something must be wrong with one of the windmill turbines. Without electricity, the cake mixer couldn't be used to make cake, and the music player couldn't play music for dancing. Would the pups be able to have a party for Chase? We're going to throw Chase a party no matter what, said Ryder, grabbing his pup pad. Paw Patrol to the lookout. The pups all raced to the tower, but without electricity, the elevator wasn't working. To figure out the problem, Ryder needed to get up to the lookout, so Marshall got his truck and raised the ladder. Ryder climbed into the lookout, looked out through the periscope, and spotted the problem. The strong wind had broken a windmill blade, and that's why there was no electricity. Oh, yeah, the windmill blade is broken, see? Wow. Paw Patrol, here to help. Rocky said, Ryder, I need you to find something on your truck to fix the broken blade. Marshal, we'll need your ladder to climb up and fix the windmill. Chase, the traffic lights won't work without electricity. We need your siren and megaphone to direct traffic. Paw Patrol is on a roll, Ryder shouted, and off they went. Sky, Rubble, and Zuma stayed behind at the lookout. Time to save Chase's party, said Sky. What are we going to do, asked Zuma. We'll have a party in the dark, said Rubble. Yeah, we can give Chase the best surprise party in the dark ever, barked Sky. Over on Main Street, cars honked and honked. The lights weren't working, and it was causing a big traffic jam. We can't even cross the street in this mess, said Mayor Goodway. It's getting dark. <clears throat> Chase arrived and got straight to work with his megaphone. 
Woof, he barked. Everyone going this way, go now. Okay, stop. The drivers did as the police pup instructed, and the traffic cleared. The road was able, safe to cross. Meanwhile, Ryder, Marshall, and Rocky were busy fixing the windmill. As Ryder climbed up Marshall's ladder and removed the broken blade, Rocky found the perfect thing to replace it. Zuma's old surfboard, said Rocky. Why trash it when you can stash it? Ryder attached the surfboard to the windmill. It was perfect. This surfboard will catch a breeze, said Rocky, and turn it into electricity. Back at the pet parlor, the pups were playing flashlight tag in the dark when the lights came back on. Ryder and Paw Patrol did it! Yay! But there's no time to make a cake, said Skye. I have an idea, said Katie. On Main Street, the traffic lights came back on. All right, everyone, Chase said to the megaphone. It's safe to cross. Everyone on Main Street thanked him. Just then, Ryder called, Chase, change of plans. We need you at Katie's. On my way, barked Chase. Next, Ryder called Skye. Chase is on his way, and so are we, he said. Great, said Skye. The surprise is all ready. When Chase walked into Katie's pet parlor, all the lights were off. Hello? Anybody home? Surprise! Everyone shouted, jumping out from behind the counter. Happy birthday, Chase. And they've all got flashlights. You turned the lights back on and made a party for me, said Chase. Whenever it's your birthday, just yelp for help, laughed Ryder. <laughs> we couldn't make you a regular cake, so I hope you'd like your dog cookie cake, said Katie. Make a wish. Chase blew out the candles, and then the pups helped him eat his birthday cake. Ah, oh, that was so good. That was a great book. I hope you all enjoyed it. Whenever I send this to you, you can watch the video of me reading it and look at the book at the same time. That would be so cool, wouldn't it? Uh, I love you, my grandkids. Y'all have a 